Beekeeping has become such a hot, trending hobby, even a side hustle, making you some extra money from your honey cells. Hey, I'm David Burns, EAS Certified Master Beekeeper, and I'm going to tell you today how you can start beekeeping. I'm going to keep it short, sweet, and simple. Today, if you want to start keeping bees, why not get off the fence, finally do it. I know you've thought about it. Let's get right into how you would do it. First, you need to buy some bees. Typically, it's best to buy your bees early in the year, in the months of January or February. Bees sell out fast. And so if you don't get in line and get those purchased early in the year, in winter, then possibly there'll be no bees available for purchase after we get into the bee season in the spring. So secure your package of bees or your five frame nucleus early. What's a package? What's a five frame nucleus? A package of bees consists of 10,000 bees, mostly all worker bees, and one queen. The queen's in her own separate little cage and there's some candy that keeps her in her cage. Now, when you get your package, and you get ready to install your package, you simply remove the candy plug on the queen cage. You shake all the bees, about 10,000 worker bees, into your hive equipment, and then you take a cap off, exposing that candy in the queen cage, and slowly the bees on the outside eat through the candy, and they release the queen, and she becomes their new mother. We do this because fresh queens are raised for those packages, and we have to slowly introduce the new queen to all those bees. Now, a five-frame nucleus is essentially five frames of bees already in the comb. The comb is drawn out, and they already have a lot of brood, like eggs and larvae and pupae, and the queen is already out and laying. You don't have to introduce the queen. They're already an operational hive on five frames. And when you buy a five frame nucleus, you just move the five frames over to your equipment. But remember, please secure your bees early in the year. And that brings us to equipment. Now you can buy your equipment anytime prior to getting your bees. However, if you cut it too short, too close, and there's a shipping problem, you may wind up getting your bees before you have anything to put them in. So make sure you plan way ahead have your equipment ready. May not be a bad idea to pick up your hive equipment in the winter as well. That way you can paint it if you want to, and you can decide where in your bee yard or around your house that you want to put your hive. Set it out there even before you get your bees. Now the hive equipment can be purchased from a lot of beekeeping companies, and you simply order that and it's shipped to you. Sometimes bees can be shipped, but it's preferable that you actually get your bees from a local place where you can drive and pick them up because sometimes bees don't do well when they're shipped. Now, other equipment that you're gonna need has to do with tools. You'll need a hive tool like this one here. A hive tool helps you pry open your hive when the bees kind of glue it down with their uh, propolis or wax. And sometimes you need to pry it open with your hive tool. It helps you scrape clean any wax that's in the way. You'll need a hive tool. You need a smoker. The smoker helps calm the bees. And you may wanna pick up a pair of gloves just to protect your hands when you're working your bees. Also, like our friend here, you may want to buy a hat and a veil to cover your face uh, to keep bees off and away from your head while you're working your bees. And finally, the more you know about keeping bees, the more comfortable and confident you'll be in being a beekeeper. So take time to research beekeeping classes in your area or online beekeeping courses that will help you gain the confidence you need even before you receive your bees. Check out in our description below, we have links to our online beekeeping courses that may be a big help before you start beekeeping. Remember, we need honeybees to help support our ecosystem, our orchards, our gardens. We need bees to help pollinate all the wonderful foods that are good for us. So do your part and consider becoming a beekeeper this year. Jump off the fence and take the step it's a hobby that might be able to help you really enjoy your pastime. Maybe you're retired. Maybe you get a little time on your hands. Maybe you're planning on planting a big garden and you need that garden to be pollinated. And of course, beekeeping means you're going to have wonderful honey. Great tasting honey, delicious golden honey that is certainly much more natural than processed sugar. It could also be a great hobby for you to enter into as a family or with your mom or your dad and have a lot of fun learning about beekeeping together. Now, if you'd like to take the next step and learn a lot more about what I just told you, look at this video. It'd be really helpful as we go into more details about the things that I mentioned 
on how to start beekeeping. Thanks for joining me.